Hi, this is problem 7.2, and we would like to find internal forces in one point, which is in this case point C. So here we have a beam that is a beam with a little bit of another beam attached to it, and we have a pulley, and this pulley has a rope that is attached to this point, and since it's an ideal pulley, we can imagine that this uh, force is also 400. So, what we are going to do is first always to calculate the external reactions. So in this case, we have a pin in A that restricts two displacement, therefore is two reactions, and then we have a roller at B that restricts only the motion in the Y direction, therefore we have only one reaction. So we will find the external reactions at A and B, and then the second step will be to calculate the reactions at C. So step one is find external reactions. So I will do my free body diagram of the whole beam. And I will not even bother to take out the pulley. I will draw the free body diagram of the whole beam. So I have my pulley over here, and I have my force that go around the pulley. That is 400 newtons. Remember that the axis that we are using is x and y. This is inertial. So my moment is positive in the contraclockwise direction. So this is my beam, and then I have at A, since it's a pin, I have two reactions, AY and AX. And then I have a B, since it's a roller, I have only BY. The, B, the weight of the beam is neglected respect to this force. Therefore, this is all forces that I have in my beam, in my free body diagram. So now that I have that, I will apply e the equations of equilibrium. And I will add forces in x equals to 0. And there I have that I have a x plus 400 equals to 0. Therefore, a x is equals to negative 400 newtons. This is the first force that I found. I can apply moment either at a or either at b. Let me apply moments at B. Remember that this here is the total distance, which is 5. This here, this height, I will also need it. And it's 1 meter plus the radius of that pulley, so it's 1.2 meters. And I don't need any other the distance because I don't, I don't have to include the moment produced by this force because I did not take it out. So that force is internal to my system and I only have to take the moment respect to this force over here. So I will take moment respect to B, that's equals to zero, and then I have. I put always my hand and the points where I'm taking the moment, so B, and I put my distance will be my palm, and I curl my fingers to the force. So this will be a negative moment, right? Negative 5 times AY, and then I have also a negative moment produced by this force, and it will be negative 1.2 times 400. And all that is equal to 0. So I can solve for AY, and I get that AY will be negative, and I have the result right here, 96 newtons. The negative means that I is going to the opposite direction. Since I assume the direction was upwards, it means that since it's negative, it's going downwards. And finally, I will add forces in Y, equals to zero, and I get a y, and this force is in the x direction, so I don't include, so I only have b y equals to zero. My b y is 
positive, well, I, that goes negative to the other side. With this negative, it becomes positive 96. So I was able to find my external reactions. Now I can do my second step, step two, which is doing a cut in my beam through point C. Let me, let me draw my cut correctly through the point. So that will be right here. This is point C. Okay, now I get, so I have to decide which side I want to draw my free body diagram. And in this case, it's, it's kind of obvious that this free body diagram will be a little bit less, uh, have, will have less force. I don't want to say complex because at the end, taking the equations of equilibrium is not that hard, neither case, right? But uh, I will draw the free body diagram, free body diagram of cut, so internal forces. And in this case, particularly, I will choose to draw the left side. So when I draw that, I have my little piece of beam, which is located at 1.5 of 1.5 meters of A. And then I will draw my forces. They are not unknown anymore. I know them, and I can actually draw them in the correct direction. So I draw this one going to the right, right? But I got a negative value, so I'm going to draw it to the left, positive. And then AY was the same. I draw it upwards, and I get a negative value. So I'm going to draw it downwards and then I don't have to write the negative number. So those are my two forces that I already found, and now I get the internal forces. And we have to be careful to follow the convention sign, and that means that my normal force always go uh, to the right if I draw the left side, because I am assuming that it's in tension. And then I have my shear force, and I have my moment. So those are internal forces at point C. Now that I have all my free body diagram, now I apply the equations of equilibrium to this little free body diagram. Free body equations of equilibrium of this free body diagram. Then I add forces in X equals to zero. That leads me that negative 400 plus N is equals to zero. Therefore, N is equals to 400 newtons. I add forces in Y equals to zero, that leads me to negative 96, right? Because it's going downwards, right? Negative V is equals to zero. Therefore, V is equals to negative 96. And then I add moment where I cut, so C equals zero. I can take moment any in any point actually, but I will take it in C, and then I have 1.5 times 96, and this is a positive moment because I place my hands over here it, where I'm taking the moment, my, my palm throws the towards the distance, and my, I curl my fingers towards the force, right? So it's contraclockwise. And then I have, this moment is actually also contraclockwise, so it's M equals C. So therefore, my moment, I have to multiply those two numbers, and I get that this is equal to negative 144 newtons meters. So I got a positive value for my normal force, I got a negative value for my shear force, and I got a negative value for my um, bending moment. So it means that in this little piece, the beam is in, is in tension. This shear that is negative, it means that it goes to the other side, goes positive, right? And this moment means that my beam is concave down in that 
a specific point. So it means that when I pull down up this beam by this cord through that pulley, it pulls my, my beam up, and since it's attached at A and B, this beam there in that point, I don't know anything about the rest of the point because I have not analyzed the whole beam, but at this point, the beam is concave down. And this is the solution.